Hey everyone, uh, it's Jeffrey, and um, yes, according to this title, this is yet another video about the Brit Boot Junior Challenge. I actually wasn't planning on making another one this year based on how crazy everything has been recently, but um, I've been getting a lot of questions about technique or what tips and tricks I have for you guys, so I thought it may be helpful for you guys if I made a video um, explaining some of the techniques I use and answer some of your questions, so you guys can just watch this video anytime and hopefully get something out of it. So, today we'll be looking at um, editing, animation, and style in your Breakthrough Junior video, or just any video in general. Before we begin, I just want to make some like important distinctions of what I consider to be editing and versus animation. Editing could be considered like putting a puzzle or layers together. You're putting clips together to make a more coherent and complete film. And animation is sort of like, if you were decorating a cake, it's like the frosting or the cherry on top. It's not necessary, but if you put it on your video, it can make it look better, it can add something extra special to your video. And before I answer uh, some of you guys' questions that I've received, I think it's really important to say that uh, in your video, animation is probably the least important thing you want to focus on. Um, Editing is putting your video together, so that's really important because you want your video to flow nicely from beginning to end. And the most important thing is the information that you're explaining. Remember, the Breakthrough Junior Challenge isn't a video contest about animation, it's a contest about science communication. So your first priority is to make a film that explains a scientific topic in a way that your audience can understand. And that may or may not require animation. So the number one question that I've been getting from you guys, whether that be through Instagram or through the YouTube comments section is what uh, software did you use to animate and edit? So I use Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects to edit and animate respectively. Adobe uh, makes some really uh, cool programs that you can use to edit and animate the videos that you're making. But I've also been using these softwares for quite a long time. While these programs do allow you a lot of creative freedom and can really make uh, add a lot to your film, they do take a while to learn, and that might not be time that you necessarily have. But that's okay, because as I said before, your video isn't about animation, it's about how well you explain your topic, and that doesn't necessarily require um, animation in your video. For example, I made this film a couple years ago, and it was in a different video, but I'll put it here, where I made a video about, a short video about the environment using just iMovie, which it comes free on your computer if you have a Mac, and shot on my iPhone. So, take a look. Our world is a beautiful place, filled with amazing landmarks, amazing creatures, and cute animals. But over the years, man-made climate change has been affecting all of these things, and pretty soon, we might lose all that we hold dear. But there are a group of people who are trying to stop it. Isn't it weird how time moves forward, because that's the definition of how time works? Uh, so yeah, uh, as per that video, that video was done with a free software that comes with computers, and there are many free editing softwares out there, and shot on my phone. which is something that a lot of you guys have and a lot of you guys have access to. So it's not necessary to have these fancy editing or animation software to make a video that looks good. And so I'll talk about my last point, which is style. And that's what I mentioned in the title. So style, in my opinion, is the most important filmmaking aspect of your video. So there's like the education part, the things that you explain, like how you explain things creatively and engage your audience. And then there's the filmmaking part. And the filmmaking part is not as important as everything else. Remember, this is a science communication contest. But if you're looking at the filmmaking part, the most important part of that is your style. It's basically how you portray yourself in your video. And animation could be one tool that you use to portray yourself. It's a tool that I've used because it's a tool I've been experienced with. But if you have experience with other things, for instance, a few years ago, a winner named Diana C used stop motion animation, and other finalists have used things like drawing or whiteboards or other methods, you can use that too, and it could have just as good or if not better result than using just plain old animation. The most important thing is really just to make sure that the video feels like you. You might not have enough time to learn a completely new part of filmmaking, but you definitely already have something that you're good at, so if you use that, then you're, you're already set and you'll do awesome in this year's challenge. So that's really all the tr tricks and techniques I have in this video. This video is mostly about the filmmaking portion of the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. If I do make another video, which I don't know, I'll probably talk a little bit about audio or selecting a topic, which is a little late, so maybe not. Um, 
But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something out of this. Remember, feel free to ask any questions below. And also feel free to like and subscribe because I'm going to college soon and I'm going to need money. So uh, yeah, take care, stay healthy, good luck, and have a good one.